Hello and welcome to another Maya Tutors vi video tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to make a realistic vector space background in Adobe Flash CS4. This can be done in other versions, however I will be using some tools only available in the CS4 product. Okay, so basically we're just going to start off. I'm going to change the name of our layer to background. And we're going to draw ourselves up a square, or more of a rectangle in this case. Um, just select the back, um, the border, delete it, select the, um, the rectangle. Over here you'll see position and size, we're going to change the width to 550 and the height to 400. This is the default uh, stage settings in Flash, so it doesn't go over and it's pretty much just a perfect fit. From there we're going to go out to Window, go down to Align, and as you can see here, align to stage has been selected. Which just means that all of these aligning functions, as you'll see on the left side of the panel, will align to the sta stage here, not to the viewport. So we're going to align horizontal, ce horizontal center and vertical center. Uh, you can close that now, deselect, and as you can see, there is no white space. Okay, after that, we are going to select the paint bucket tool go to window and open up color from there we're going to go from type down to linear and we're just going to select four different colors we're going to leave this one black and leave the uh, the last gr color gradient black and the middle ones are going to be a very dark purple or dark blue so we just go down until it's practically invisible because yeah, um, you'll see why I do this in a few moments. Okay, now with your layer selected in the frame, just click and drag. So this just sets the direction and length of your gradient. Okay, um, that looks pretty good. You get a nice transition from black, purpley blue back, back color, and back to black again. However, I do think that blue is a little strong, so I'm just going to go through change it to make it a little bit darker and same with the purple okay just adjust the blue a little bit more okay I'm happy with that now just a quick demonstration on why the colors are set up the way they did if we move them closer you'll see that the blue and the purple are pretty much on top of each other and you don't get the same sort of um, blending effect from color transition so yeah I'm pretty happy with that at the moment this will serve as our background color um, you can lock that layer now and we're going to create a new one just call that stars and then we're going to select the spray brush tool um, the shortcut is B so as you can see in the spray brush tool properties you have scale and random scaling we're going to click random scaling on this will um this tool will draw our stars random scaling just means that some stars are going to be a little bit bigger than others and just really adds to realism and detail to provide you with a more realistic looking background okay it's being a little bit difficult you're going to have to go into the spray color as you can see, you can really just draw your stars on. Um, some some parts are going to be a little bit more thicker than others. So yeah, the faster you go, the um, the less density there is really. And there you go. That's pretty much just a quick, simple, um, realistic space background. And control enter, and you can just view it. I'm pretty happy with that. And yeah, that pretty much concludes this lesson. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment. Um, add us as a friend, subscribe. Uh, if you have any requests, just send me an email. And check out our blog. Thanks, thanks for watching. Hope this helped.